Accounting and finance or financial management is a core subject in any general management education and it is my passion. My name is Thomas Yelström. I'm a faculty member at the Department of Accounting at the Stockholm School of Economics and a long-term lecturer at the Executive MBA program at SSE. We work with the function of the capital markets. That is not only how the markets work, but also what is needed for them to work in terms of providing information to the markets. This also includes communication with both external and internal parties to the company. That means both to the markets, but also to employees, etc., of the company. We also work with fact-based decision-making, i.e. we provide financial data in order to make as good as possible decisions, both on the markets and within the companies for investments, etc. All of these components are key to all kinds of economies, and that is important to bring with us. Our view of accounting and financial management is critical to understand how we work with this subject. Our starting point is to understand the strategy and the business model of the company, i.e. what do we do and how do we do things in the company. Because that explains what kind of actions we do take in the company. Thereafter, we record the financial consequences of all of those decisions taken in the firm. And that is what we want to represent in financial statements. But also, in order to deliver and implement on the strategies, we need control tools. We need to understand how we evaluate investments, how we make budgets, etc., in order to make it work. And at the end of the day, we want to see how and if the company creates value. And if it does, that in turn has a feedback loop back to evaluating and potentially changing the strategy and the business model of the firm. I want to take an example of how we work on this, and that is the relation with M&A. What kind of topics do we cover in this? First of all, we need to understand the pricing and the negotiation related to an M&A process. So we must understand how we value companies. So that is sort of one area which we cover. We do have different financing alternatives. What alternatives are available to the company and what kind of consequences does that have in the short term and in the long term? Then we need to evaluate the transactions. We need to see what effects it has on the financial reports. But we also need to understand why, for example, EBTA is a good or not so good measure to evaluate the consequences of an M&A transaction. Later on, we also need to understand the goodwill component. How do we measure it and what does an impairment of goodwill actually mean? In order to do all of this, we need to understand the basics of how the financial statements work. We need to be able to calculate key ratios that are appropriate to evaluate complex transactions. But we need to go down to the basics of understanding that. I would argue that understanding financial reports is probably one of the most critical skills in an organization today because we need to see the financial consequences of the actions taken independent of the kind of companies that we are actually referring to. We also need to strike a balance between the internal and the external financial communication. I, we can't say things externally and do different things internally, so there needs to be a bridge between those two, and especially so when the information flows faster and faster. I would finally like to say that I hope that you would like to come to us and experience this development in the area of finance and accounting and financial management and join an executive MBA program that will develop you 
and your company in the best possible way. Looking forward to seeing you within the area of accounting and financial management.